We're going to change pace once again. Coming up is an improv comedy troupe. Now, if you've never seen improv, this is all made up. It's not choreographed. It's not. It's not uh, rehearsed ahead of time. It's all going to be made up. You'll you'll see when you, when you see them. Coming up to the stage is Joe Rendezzo and Chris Ulrich, who comprise this DC-based long-form improv comedy troupe that has been performing in the area since 2010. They performed at various shows and events in the area, including Washington Improv Theaters Fighting Improv Smackdown Tournament. Put your hands together for Jive Turkey and Friends.
Thank you. Can I? I'm going to take those back. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, lady. You're creeping me out. No, really? Yeah. I have that effect on people, but not so often. Tell me, what kind of movies do you like? Have you seen Saul? No. <laughs> Big stool, huh? <laughs> and so you're like, you're just much bigger taller bigger. than I am, so I feel like. <laughs> bigger people should sit in the bigger place. Okay, but smaller people need to look at you in the eye. Seymour, <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about you. I can. Uh, I took the wrong stool. <laughs> this one's broken a little bit. So go ahead. Well, at least you're a gentleman, right? I. I <laughs> Can't help but notice you got a guy. <laughs> His name is Richmond. He has a name. He's not just a guy. Thank you, Richmond. Uh, Seymour, as I was saying, I'm worried about you as your friend because I'm sensing a deep, deep insecurity. I'm from Richmond. <laughs> is that what they call you, Richmond? No. <laughs> they call you Richmond for a different reason? Yes. It's his God-given name. I don't know what you want to call it. Well, we're in Tuscaloosa. I can't call him Tuscaloosa. That's crazy. The baby's name is Tuscaloosa. That's insane. Oh, Tuscaloosa. We're not naming him after your father, Tuscaloosa. <laughs> it's a family name. His grandfather is Tuscaloosa. His grandfather is Tuscaloosa. Well, maybe I don't want to be part of your family anymore. Well, it's a little late. <laughs> what should we call your insecurity, Seymour? It needs a name. It's so big. Ego? <laughs> it sounds like it's my ego, but like reversed. So if you called it my ego, maybe I would feel better about it. You know? Because you're insecure about your insecurity. Yeah, I like that. I was almost called Tuscaloosa. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> Little known fact. Tuscaloosa. Yes. It's a place, but it's also a family. I am sorry to interrupt. No, it's no. good. You're welcome into this conversation. No. You're more confident than Seymour is. <laughs> Look, I'm going to take that as an insult, but I'm going to let it go, okay? <laughs> because I don't want a confrontation. Because you don't want to get into something where I might put you in a position where I'm in a higher form of power because I am a woman and your friend and so you can lower So confrontational is an adjective. Right. <laughs> you know what, Richmond? I'm good. You can. You can. <laughs> Uh, 
seems really super friendly, huh? but like in a creepy way. Yeah. I don't think we should go in there because we may be like murdered. Oh, I'm super friendly. I'm creepy. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna wait in the car. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Have fun. All right. Take care. So, uh, puppy. Yeah, you are not super friendly. I'm creepy. I'm kind of. Uh, kind of creepy myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I've got some. I've got some orange juice instead. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're gonna do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 